In the previous wiki videos, we learned how to log into the wiki, and we learned all the basic text formatting uh, and lists and references that we're going to need to complete our wiki project. Uh, today, we're going to look at how to make uh, pictures and import those pictures into our wiki. So I've already logged in. Let's say we go back to this example wiki that we were working on, and say I want a picture, put a picture in here of an example structure. Now I've got such a structure here. Uh, this is an Illustrator, but again, you can use Corel Draw or Inkscape or whatever other vector format um, image manipulation software that you care to. And you might recognize this uh, from last week's quiz. Uh, we have the double roller. I have some uh, some pin uh, ends over here, and some members, and a little bit of roller here. And these are all different pieces. Here's uh, you know just some lines. Uh, I have some specific widths here. I've made these kind of wider. I made a little triangle here filled in with a little bit of gray to show the pin. And these are all just lines. So you can make this basically in any kind of software, uh, including Inkscape. Now, once we've actually created the image that we'd like to create, uh, what we have to do is that since this is in a vector format, which means it's represented as just a bunch of points and lines, okay, that means that I can zoom in on this as much as I want and everything is still sharp. Um, for the wiki, we actually have to change it into a bitmap type of format. And the type of bitmap that the wiki accepts is called a ping file, a .png, or also a .gif is also okay, or .gif if you prefer. So what we have to do generally in a, in a piece of software like this is go to file, there will be something called, either it'll be under save as or export. It's probably export because we're changing the type of file that it is. So I want to export to our term project sample topic directory. Uh, this is equations of condition example. And I'm just going to select ping, PNG. OK, great. And then I'll save that. Now this is the resolution. 300 dots per inch is probably OK. You can change this. Uh, if, if you upload your pictures and they look a little bit pixelated, you might want to increase your output resolution here. So I'll just save that. Now let's take a look at that image. And it is right in here. Here we are. So we have our double roller. You see everything is fairly sharp. That should do just fine uh, in the wiki. So next step once we have our image exported, is that we have to upload it. Now in the wiki, uh, all of the images are common to the entire site. So what you do is you upload a file, you give it a file name, and then you can reference that image file from any different wiki within the entire system. So for example, if, if uh, you have a common picture that you want to share with some other group that's doing a related topic, you can just upload one copy of that picture and then both of you can reference it. So the way that we do that is as long as we're logged in here, I just go over on the left, and you see under toolbox there's upload file. So we just click that. And so we're going to just want to select that file. So we find the file name location, and it is right here. Now you want to make sure to select the ping and not your .ai file or your .cdr for Corel Draw. Uh, even SVG for uh, Inkscape. So you got to select that ping file. You see it only permits these type of files. So if you want to, if you have a line drawing, you're going to want to use a ping. If you have a photo, then JPEG would be the best type of file to use. Now we give that a file name. So we'll just call that equation of condition extra png and you can put a summary here if you want to explain your file so this is used for the example video great or you might want to put which topic uh, you are using this under so if you're doing force method you might say originally used in force method it might be easier for you to find that file later if you have to search for it so I upload the file. I just wait a few moments as it does it. 
you'll notice as, as well here that there's a maximum file size. So if you are uploading a file that uh, is too high resolution, then you won't be permitted. So every time you upload a file, it creates a, a page only for that file. Okay. It's having a little bit of trouble loading in. It's taking a little while here. So well, let's just try to use this file. So we just have to remember the name. It's equation of condition extra png. So let's go back to our page. Structural analysis. Types of structures. Okay, and here we are. So now I want to put this image in. So I'm going to hit edit. Now wherever you put the image tag, you're going to put you know, a line here to say input the image. That'll be where it'll try to put the top of that image. So let's just put a regular one like you'll see in the examples. So say we want to have it uh, at the top of this heading here. So what we do is we put double square bracket. So if you recall, this is the same thing that we use for an internal link. So double square bracket, image, full colon. Then we put the image name, equation of condition extra, I think that was the name, dot PNG. Then we put a pipe, okay, that's the vertical line. You'll find that uh, just under the backspace key uh, where there's the backslash, you have to hit use shift backslash to get that character. And then frame. That's the type of image. We're going to put it inside a frame on the page. And then we can put a caption if we want. So we can write the caption in here, equation of condition, example. And then we close it with another double square bracket. So let's take a look at the preview and see what that looks like. Hmm. Now it looks like I didn't get the right file name here. So let's go see if we can find that file. So we'll go to special pages. And we can look at media reports and uploads. So let's take a look at the file list here. Okay, and these will show us all the files. So this is, my problem is I put an S on equation. So it's equation of condition extra ping. And you can see we can search for media here. Uh, if we remember kind of what the name was called and then it'll bring it up. Let's see if we can go here and that goes back to that page that shows all the previous um, changes to this file. So if you put your file up, and then you decide to change it, uh, instead of uploading a new file and then having a new name and changing the name, you can always come here on the image page and say upload a new version of this file and it'll use the same file name and you can just put a different file in there and it keeps track of all the different versions. So let's go back and fix the image name. I'm going to edit this page. Oh, I didn't save it before. <laughs> so since I just used show preview, I didn't save it, so the change went away. So let's just put it in again. Uh, I think we're going to put it in right here. So image, full colon, image name, equation of condition extra dot ping. It's good to give descriptive names. So we use the pipe or the vertical line here. We say frame because that's we want it to be in a frame, and then we can put a caption. So equation of condition. Okay, and let's show a preview and see what that looks like. And there it is. Now, you see, I've output this at a pretty high resolution, so this picture is kind of dominating the entire page, which isn't really desirable. So I'd like to make this page a little bit smaller here. So let's edit again. Now, we actually have the option We actually have the option to uh, reduce the size of that inside the text. So if we scroll back up here, here's our giant picture. We come down, since we're on the preview, we can change it down here. So instead of frame, what we do, so frame is full size. Uh, on the right, we say thumb, and this is for thumbnail. And then we have to add an extra pipe, and we can put the width, so 300 pixels, for example. So I want to make it a little smaller. So let's show the preview. 
Okay, and there we go. So that's a width of 300. That's maybe a little bit too small. Let's change it to 500. Okay, show preview. So basically what that means is that what this picture is showing is a thumbnail of the larger image. Now it might be a good idea when you're exporting to try to get your image the right size in the first place so that you don't have to fiddle around with this. But this is a good way for you to be able to change the image size on the fly. And you see it's got this little pull out here which is enlarged which will take you to the full size image. So that's the frame type versus the thumb type. So remember we have the image, full colon, name of the image with the extension, then frame or thumb. If we have thumb, then we can add this extra part that gives the width. And then this is the caption, which you'll see is right underneath the image here. Now, what if we want that image to actually be in line with the text? Oh, another thing, uh, you'll see that this top of this image is lined up with paragraph two here, which is where we put it in the text. Uh, so what if we want that image to be in line? For example, we have a, uh, we have some examples down here. Yes, I did say I have uh, example problem as a header. And I want to put that same image, but I want it in line. Well, to do that, uh, we can put another image in here. We start the same, double square bracket, image, full colon, uh, equation of condition. Dot png and then we put that pipe again and then now what we put instead of putting frame or thumb we can write borderless so that means there's no border and no frame and actually it's also going to be put in line with the text so it'll be aligned to the left instead of to the right and then we can put our width again 500 pixels then another pipe then caption which may or may not show up so I'll just put I'll just write caption here I think that might not show up then we show the preview again so here we've got our one from before with the frame then I've got example problem then I've got this one which is just in line with the text so that helps you because this can move around a little bit for example if I smush this a little bit then you know dynamically locates this with the text whereas this one is always going to stay on the left and in line with the text. So that's images in wikis in a nutshell.